guys on the reception aka content creators back again with another weekly vlog and right now I'm about to walk into a seminar. I know this vlog is kind of boring because like um, I barely went out this whole week um, I only had one day of class and then all the other days were canceled because there's a storm here and so I felt kind of bad that you guys are just watching something very boring so I posted on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter um, to have you guys ask me some questions so let's go our first question comes from Chantal Ian Mampayo and she asked, would you rather date a unicorn princess or a mermaid? And I think I'd rather date a mermaid, so at least, you know, there's some human quality there. Because um, a unicorn princess, I think that's just a horse, just an animal. And I'd rather have that, you know, human connection, sort of. So, mermaid. Our next question comes from Erica Fry. She asks, if you were Peter Piper, why would you pick a peck of pickled peppers? Wow. Um, I guess if I was Peter Piper and I picked a peck of pickled peppers, I guess maybe I was hungry and I wanted some good pickled peppers or... Yeah, I don't even know how to answer this question really. Um, I guess because they're good or I'm hungry. Sorry, sorry Eric Fry if I didn't answer it correctly. Our next question comes from uh, Jessica McEwen from Instagram. She asked me why you look like Jokoi and Ian Eastwood had a baby. Okay, let's. I don't know. How, I don't know how to answer that. I I don't. I guess. I don't. What? Alright, now we're going to like what I really want to talk about. So, uh, over here on Twitter, JD asks, Have you ever done any films before? If so, where could we watch them? So, I've done quite a few films, um, short films um, with my friends. And um, I guess I'll just go in order. So, my first film I've ever done is uh, Inspiration. That's in, like with a Z. Um, it was a community service themed um, uh, short film that I did for class. Like we had to, we were just required to do it, and we posted that on Facebook. I'll link that below. My next one is um, Bainty. That's like a, it's like a four, four stories in one film. I'm not really proud of that film, but I've I've done I've shot that one. And I'll link that in the description as well. Um, my next one is Don't Scream. That's like I think my second most uh, successful film. Um, it's a short horror film um, that we did for our uh, film fest, and it won six awards, which that that is really great. But it didn't, it didn't win the uh, best uh, short film, which is sad, or best cinematography. But it won all the other all the other awards. So yeah. Uh, my next film, uh, what I think is the most um, successful film for me, is um, ELM or After Summer because it was like an informational video, video 
before my class, but we also incorporated, incorporated a story, a love story. Um, and then I remember after showing it to people in the class, when it was done, like everyone gave a standing ovation. It was, it was such a great feeling. So that's why I think that's like my most successful film. Anyways, all these films that I, that I listed um, are going to be linked down in the description. Um, I've done uh, DP work for Chobi on um, his unreleased uh, film, Cancel My New Lover. And I've done a lot of DP, DP work around, but they haven't been released. So I can't really say the films because what's the point? Because you won't need to. Alright, Steven Twazen from Twitter asks, Top 3 movies of all time. So, um, what's coming to my head right now, because I just recently watched it, is Get Out. Um, that is such a great movie. Um, also, Logan, um, the, the Marvel movie, Logan. That was nice too. And About Time, About Time, a uh, uh, chick flick, yeah. But yeah, those are my top three movies of all time because, I don't know, um, when I watch films, if they like really evoke uh, emotion for me, like I'm about to cry or something, um, that's why I place them as my all-time favorites because, like, as a film, they made me feel something. So, yeah. All right. Our last question comes from Renzo Gio or my good friend Renzo Chimico, and he actually sends me a video instead of uh, typing the question. So. Hey, uh, Batman. I'm gonna ask. Uh, some questions. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, hey, hi, man. Yo. Hi, <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. What do I? I'm Seth Harvey. One of his favorite channels on YouTube. And recommendations. Now, shut the fuck up. Thank you, Chimiko, and thank you, Batman, or yeah. So my favorite um, uh, YouTube channels that I watch, uh, as of now, um, not not that many, but um, I typically watch uh, YC Imaging or Creative Ryan because they're just up and coming freelancers as well. They do music videos, and that's like um, what I what I want to do. Like not music videos, but videos and so I get a lot of tips from them and like style and what to do so I watch them a lot as well and I, I, I watch a whole lot a bunch of stuff like haircut videos like um, 360 GZ and I watch um, unboxing videos like um, unbox therapy but yeah those are mostly what I watch mostly I just search up like camera gear and all that stuff because I love camera gear and uh, yeah alright thank you to all those people who have uh, asked me questions I think it was like six in total um, it was it was really nice uh, I was kind of hoping that a lot of people would ask about my like freelancing career but I guess this is okay this is like my first Q&A and um, I was really happy to do it really and hopefully you guys you enjoyed what this was instead of you know watching through a whole boring video unless this is boring to you then I am super sorry I'm hoping that um, you guys won't be watching these type of weekly vlogs where it's really boring because I have a lot of projects uh, coming this year and I really want to um, shoot them behind the scenes so um, sorry for this really boring vlog hopefully you enjoyed the Q&A and look forward to more BTS and all the crazy stuff that's gonna happen this year, this academic school year. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want more content, not like this, but more on BTS and all that stuff, hit that subscribe button. And of course, I'll see you guys on the next weekly vlog.